Hey, what's going on everybody? Who we 186 back again with another video. Uh, this is going to be a video response to Xbot 448. Um, recently subscribed to the channel. Um, even though I don't agree with pretty much or anything he says, uh, I do like the fact that the channel is gamer focused. Um, and um, you know, if you have a chance, give him a like. You know, and and watch the video. You know first before before you watch this video to kind of get the understanding of what of what my video is about now <clears throat> now let me start off by saying some of the stuff that I actually agree with with in, in his video now first thing first let me start off by saying that it is a great time to be an Xbox one owner and it's a great time to own an Xbox one s like I said I'm looking to buy one you know what I mean I'm trying I'm trying you know it's been it's been tough with uh, with some money issues um, here and there, but hopefully by Black Friday I can find one for a great deal. Now, now you know, like I said before, you know, it has the, it has the blue, it has the 4K, it's 4K upscale, I believe. You get a ultra Blu-ray player or whatnot, and it's a uh, you know, I, I I think I like the I like the look of the the console. I think it's slicker, nicer looking. You know, no force down connect bullshit. You know, like it, it, it's the console should have been in the first place. So I'm looking forward to getting one. You know, what I mean, and plus, you know, you have you have a lot of games coming out for it. You, you know, it, you you have a, you have a large library of games on it anyway. Plus, you know, you have Record that just came out. Um, Gears, if you're into that, is 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 coming out soon. Forza Horizon Three, which is actually a game that I I'm looking forward to. Like I I really want to play that game. So definitely, it's a great time to be an Xbox One S owner. Like you know, I I totally agree with him on that. I will also say that when it comes to the delays, which I'll go deeper into later on, he is right when it comes to Sony and their first-party studios. When it comes to delays, um, every major first-party exclusive that I can think of outside of the MLB games have been delayed at some point. You know, Uncharted. Um, Infamous, I believe, has been delayed. The Order 1886 was delayed, and you know, obviously, we all know about, you know, you know, Drive Club, and obviously, The Last Guardian. So, it's definitely something that, that you know, has been an issue for Sony this generation. But here is my counter argument to that. First things first. I I I did some research, right? I went on Wikipedia. I went on a list of, of games released this year, right? For like of of, of of you know games that were exclusive for one console and not another. Now so you know so you know I'll I'll excuse the term, um I'll excuse the term console exclusive, the oxymoron console exclusive. You know I didn't count games that were you know I, the only games I counted were games that were on one platform and not the other, and I also didn't cover. All the games that I cover, like you know, I didn't cover you know, you know, remasters in a way. So, so you know, I didn't count of uh, Valkyria Chronicles uh, remastered, and um, you know, actually, I also didn't really count. I counted, I accidentally counted um, Ratchet and Clank, but you know, I'll remove that. But it still kind of makes my point, in my opinion, it kind of makes my point valid. Unofficially, because any game that wasn't that didn't have an entry on Wikipedia, I didn't count. So, you know, so unofficially, the PS4 this year has released 22 exclusives, either true exclusive or console exclusive. And Microsoft, as of, as of October 2005, I mean, October, October of this year, from January to October, has released five. You know what I'm saying? Like, this notion that a lot of the Xbox fanboys like to use is that old oh, PlayStation had no games for the holiday as if the holiday season is the only time when games are being played but you look at the the vast disparity of games that's come out between the two consoles is the answer I mean it's not even it's, it's laughable that you have some people who who sit there and and still create to this day that PS4 has no games like it it doesn't make any sense to me now granted are the game are the games coming out this holiday season like your, you know, Gravity Rush and and uh, what else? Uh, I know um, Blaze Blues coming out this year, later later on that year. Um, there's another there was another one. Too. Oh, Last Guardian, Last Guardian. 
obviously, you know, those games aren't, you know, as far as uh, critical acclaim, they're not as critically acclaimed as your Gears and Forza and whatnot. But that doesn't mean that doesn't mean that people aren't excited for those games. I think the problem that a lot of the Xbox fanboys have is that they like to discredit. And you know, I actually think fanboys do this in general. But I'll just pick on the Xbox fanboys because you know that's what I do. <laughs> I'm joking, a little bit joking. Um, the thing that I notice that fanboys do is that they always like to minimalize games that they don't that don't interest them, or as I like to say more more realistically, games that are not on their platform. Like, games that they can easily ignore. Like, your... All those JRPGs that were released on the PS4 this year. And there, there were a lot of them. I looked through the list. There's a whole bunch of them that were released on one on, on the PS4 and now on the Xbox One. They like to discount those games because those games are, aren't on their radar. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? A game like Uncharted, it cannot be ignored. A game like Ratchet and Clank cannot be ignored. No matter how much you guys hate Street Fighter V, some of you guys hate Street Fighter V and say that it's a ripoff and whatnot, that game can't be ignored, especially when the game is being, the tournament finals is being played on ESPN. Games like that can't be ignored. But, you know, Valkyria Chronicles can be ignored. Um, what other game? You know, I Am Sasuna. I don't even know if that game is exclusive or not, but a game like that, can't. they can ignore that because it's not on their platform. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, like, so, you know, that's, that's kind of like their mechanism to be like, oh, well, what has PlayStation released this year? And, and, you know, at the end of the day, I think it's, it's, it's garbage. You know what I mean? The whole argument, it just makes no sense. The second part about the argument that, about this whole, you know, games thing that he was talking about when it comes to the del del delays, right? Let's talk about the delays. Now, like I said before, the Sony has had a major issue when it comes to delays this generation, but I would contend that it is just as much as an industry issue as it is a Sony issue. Now, the reason why it makes it seem like it makes it seem like it's so bad for Sony, it frankly is because it has more games. Like as I stated earlier, it has more games than the Xbox One. It's just a fact. It's not fanboyism or nothing like that. That's just a fact. You know what I mean? And you know, I, I I'm looking at the list of you know of the Xbox One game that I have right here. That game that were that you know were announced and that got delayed. Let's look at it right here. Quantum Break got delayed. Scalebound currently is is delayed. Crackdown is delayed. Record was delayed before it came out. Sea of Thieves was delayed before it came out. And I mean, let's not forget two games: Fable Legends, both like Fable Legends and Phantom Dust. Both games that had that that were showcased. In Microsoft E3s in the past, are post are 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 delayed indefinitely. We don't even know if those games are even going to come out anymore, because um, Lionhead Studios is, is is closed, and I don't know what the fuck happened to Phantom Dust. You know what I mean? So, so th this this whole thing where, and I know he acknowledged it a little bit, but at the end of the day, like this is an industry wide problem. This is not exclusive to one console. It's not, and even and even with the delays. Sony's still bringing the content like not like even if if even if you hate the platform even if you hate if you hate Sony you can't deny that the system has has a whole bunch of games on it you can't deny it and listen I understand that when it comes to what happened with Microsoft especially in the in the first half of the year I understand that they've had they had a couple of delays I get that and you know I don't I don't hold that against them at least I don't I don't hold that against them. But it's, um, you know, it, it happens. And I think it is an industry-wide issue because I, I believe that a lot of it has to do with these corporations and, and publishers just kind of wanting to give a window to what to what the game is to create hype and excitement and all the other stuff. Be, and, you know, without realizing that, you know, these games may not even come out, like, on that time. Like, it may not, it probably won't even come out, like... I mean, I prefer the way that that Bethesda does it, which is basically, yo, when the game's ready, we'll tell you about it, and then you know that that'll be it. You know what I mean? Like I prefer that, and I also prefer what Sony did this year, D three, and that's the part. That's one of the parts that I find funny about this is that you have these dudes who are sitting there criticizing Sony for delays, but then they're criticizing Sony for showing gameplay without without dates. It don't make any sense. Cause think about it like this: 
Answer me this, cause I know how fanboys think. I know how they think. If you had a if you had a release date for God of War, the new God of War, if you had a release date for uh Detroit Become Human or um or um Spider Man, what have you, how many of you Xbox fanboys would actually believe that that game was coming out on that day? The answer is none of you would. So why is it that when they give you a release date, you want to go nuts and be like, "Oh, that's the, that's a, that's not that that game is gonna get delayed." But when they don't give you a release date, you're like, "Oh, Sadie, Sony shady and blah 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 and all the other garbage." It makes no sense. But all it is is just is just them. It's just the Xbox fanboy just trying to find any negative, not not trying to give give any shine to Sony for whatever reason. Like even if you don't like it, let, I mean that's fine. Even if you don't like it, that's fine, but yeah, you have to make these videos and you guys have to constantly contradict yourself. And I think that's part of what disappointed me most about his video. You know, is that it, instead of it being a positive Xbox One video, it was essentially a negative PS4 video. Or at least, you know, a message to the, to the ponies, as he might say. And I just think that, you know, it's unfortunate that, that, that the Xbox community... The, the most notorious members of the of that community are all negative and you know whether you want to you know you know if you point me out to, I know I know there's positive Xbox dudes out there but let's be real like the big gamer small talk like that's a big that's a big podcast I don't I don't I don't believe it's the biggest podcast out there but you know that's that's the biggest podcast it, it is one of the bigger po Xbox po podcasts out there and that and that podcast is just an xbox fanboy refugee camp that's all it is it's just a bunch of xbox fanboys crying and bitching about sony and i mean that's it but you know uh yeah that's pretty much it um who we want a6 i'm out peace